Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you how to get the perfect red lip for the holiday seasons. There are a few steps to it, but I will walk you through it and show you all the products that I used to achieve this look. So we're gonna finish off the makeup first and then we will get into the perfect red lip for the holiday season. So if you guys would like to see how that is achieved, then just keep watching. All right, so this eyeshadow look is already up on my channel. I will link the short that it's in in this video if you guys want to see how I created that. And on that short, I asked the question if you wanted to see the perfect red lip for the holidays. I don't know if the question has been answered, but you're getting it. So we're going to do that. I'm going to finish up the face makeup and then we'll get into for the red my lip. face i'm gonna go in with my bounce skin tint love this skin tint it is like a hybrid between a skin tint and a foundation i find that it gives you enough coverage but still feels really light weight on the skin so it was the month before christmas how are you guys doing how are you guys doing are you getting it all done is it all done for you i have not started i have not st i wanted to start early i was like yeah i want to be starting early and be festive and happy but i didn't and i'm such a procrastinator like this is the only thing i have ready for the holidays a holiday makeup look <laughs> some glow to the skin so I'm gonna go in with my Hollywood flawless filter I'm gonna pop that on the cheeks up on the forehead chin nose area just to bring the glow to the mid face just blend that out again with the BK 101 brush this would actually be an awesome gift if you are thinking of a gift for a makeup lover or just anybody that does their makeup and wants a nice smooth application the bk 101 bk beauty 101 brush would be an amazing gift and do a little elf contour wand i have this in the shade light medium and this is a beautiful glowy contour you wouldn't think that the two would go hand in hand but they do Usually you want like a matte contour, but this just looks so nice on the skin and just has a little bit of that cool undertone that you want for a contour. Right by my neck. My concealer, I'm gonna go in with Keep Me Covered from Essence. I have this in the shade Light Medium as well. Um, I like this one. It has a little bit more of a warm undertone to it and feels really light on the skin but also gives you some decent coverage so i don't think i don't know yet but i don't think i'm going to do any kind of holiday gift guide video because i need the ideas i need the ideas what are we buying our teenagers for christmas this year what are we buying our teenage boys and what are we buying our teenage girls I am stumped and they kind of give me an idea, but it's like, you know, you just need those little kind of fill in presents too. like kind of have an idea of like the bigger gifts that they want, but just a couple fill in things. So give me some ideas, you guys, of what you are getting your teenagers for Christmas. I wanna go back in and contour my nose. I love this, it just looks so cute and it gives you like a little button nose and so easy to do. So just lightly go up and down the sides with the contour wand, right at the end, just kind of bring the nose up and then right across here and just blend it out. I used to when I was a kid, I probably still do it, it was just, when my nose is itchy, I always push it up like that. So in the summertime, I would get a little line across my nose and just gives you that little button nose. So cute. And then you can go in with highlight just right on the tip and the a bridge A little of the bit nose. of the essence, Baby Got Bronze, and just apply that to my cheeks as well. This smells so good. It smells 
like Twizzlers and candy and just, it smells delish. And we are powering through this because I'm going to try to do some Christmas decor today. And we have a hockey game and then another hockey game. So we got to get things done today. I got to keep going. If I stop, then I'm just now I'm going in with blush. I'm going to use the Halo Beauty Wand blush in the shade Rose You Slay. I've been doing my blush a lot like this lately. This is great for plus 40 plus 50 60s like our face is just starting to just go down okay you have a youthful 20 something 30 year old face you're doing the blush up here all day every day you're just getting those snatched cheekbones but i want to bring fullness to my cheeks so what i have found with blush is that if i'm applying it to the tops of my cheeks okay come on i don't want too much to come out if I'm applying the blush to the tops of the apple of my cheeks, I get fullness coming back. So that is what I want. That is the look that I'm going for, fullness in the cheek area. I don't need my face to look even more sunken in. So this is a great little tip to bring back fullness to your cheeks. And if you have fullness, then just by all means, do the blush the Let's other way. Let's get into the reason we are all here, the lip, the perfect red lip. This is gonna take a few steps. One thing I always do is go in with a brown liner first before I apply my red liner. Because when I apply liner to my lips, it looks see-through because I'm overlining. And you just want to have a base. When you are painting with red, you always have to put like a gray primer under it on a white wall because it will just look pink. So, if you don't have a brown lip liner, just use brown eyeliner. Now we're going in with our red liner. This one is just from Sephora in the shade Classic Red. So just use your favorite red liner over top of the brown. and you won't be filming it. So you go slow and you, you make that nice clean line. I'm gonna have to clean this up off camera. So I also just kind of went over it again with the brown. I'm gonna just kind of put a little brown in the outer corners. Over it with the red a little bit. Going in with my deeper red first. So this is the shade Super Red from Revlon. It's a cream and it kind of has, like on camera you can't tell as much, but there is a slight kind of violet undertone to it. So I'm gonna go in and apply that first. It is a nice deep red as well, but just giving that brown underneath really kind of gives some more depth and like structure to the lip. And make sure to ah, and pop it in the corner. Go in with a brighter red. This is Love That Red from Revlon. It's also a cream. And this kind of has like a slight, slight orangish undertone to it but it's brighter, so I'm gonna pop that more in the middle of the lip. And kind of going right on top of the lip line. So kind of brightening up where I have the lip Keep liner. The NYX Butter Gloss in Devil's Food Cake, and this makes all the difference. Going over with a berry tone, so maybe not necessarily this gloss, but going in with a berry tone over top, just makes the lips look so rich and succulent. Now, will this last all day, all night? I don't know, but it will look really good in videos and in pictures. So just take a little bit of concealer and just kind of 
circle around your lip ever so carefully if you have any kind of bleeding. And that just kind of cleans How up the look. How good does that look? Our lips look like candy. They look like perfect, like perfect. The perfect red lip for the holiday seasons. Lasting power, I don't know, but it's the perfect red lip. So this is the final look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel all these years. I appreciate it so, so much. And I hope you guys all have an amazing holiday season. Starting off with American Thanksgiving. We already had ours in Canada, but all the best to everyone. And I will see you guys again in my next video.